So, I've made some modifications to the UI recently. I need to target something first. Figured now would be a good time to put out an update video for it. I'll give you a quick rundown on everything that's going on here. Um, both the old stuff and the new stuff. From the basic UI updates, uh, there is a new add-on that I've been using. Um, I have a couple of minor updates to the weak auras, uh, as well as SUF. So, for those of you that have not seen this before, starting right off the bat, we got our mini-map over here on the corner. Nothing crazy, it's a mini-map, it does what it needs to. Uh, we have this data bar up top here. We have our micro menu, our uh, gear durability, eye level, I have a volume controller, a quick switch for your specs up here. Uh, it will also show experience when you're at lower levels. Uh, we have our clock, zone information, um, coordinates, more technical stuff up over here along with our gold, which can be seen across every character. Um, now on to the stuff you can't see at the moment. So all of our bars are handled by bartender. Uh, the way the UI is set up by default, those bars are not visible until you're in combat. For those of you that want the bars visible, there is another profile in here under the name of Setup that will keep the bars visible at all times. If you want to use that, you go right ahead. That's what it's there for. Um, I use that when I'm playing a class I haven't touched in a long time or some of my alts that are literally just used to farm raids that I don't really know their abilities that well. That's what that profile is there for. I'm going to go ahead and switch mine back now. Um, the SUF changes have been really few uh, and very minor. Just a placement of a couple of things around the... Uh, the target frame, a few things had to be modified here and there, uh, a couple of tags changed around, but that's mostly unchanged. If I hadn't said anything to you, you wouldn't have even known I did it. Uh, weak auras. So the main thing we had to fix with that was the casting circle was not working uh, for certain spells. And it didn't really play nicely with the Drake Thier, uh empowered abilities. So those have both been fixed. It works perfectly fine with both of those now. Uh, especially with the Empowered, there's actually distinct segments to it now, so you know where you're casting the spell. So that's all completely usable now. It's not going to leave you screwed if you're playing a, um, I'm sorry, an Evoker. Let's see, we also had to modify some stuff on the Sky Riding Bar. Uh, normally, if you use a Algerian Storm Rider, uh, there is a different Vigor Bar that you would see up top here that has the diamond shapes to it. Uh, the old Weak Aura that I have for that did not hide that bar, so I had to modify that. Uh, and there were a couple of other really minor fixes to some of the, the unit frames in the Weak Aura as well. Um... And those updates have also been pushed out to Wago, so you can get those there anytime. If I haven't put out an update for this, always check the Wago because those will be updated as soon as I fix them. Uh, on to Raven with our debuffs, buffs, uh, and cooldowns. So the only major thing I've changed here is I have reduced the amount of buffs and debuffs that will show, so it's now 16 apiece. Um, on the left and right side of that frame, so the debuffs would have been over here. Um, so I reduced the number of those and made the icons a little bit bigger so they're easier to read. Now, if you want to go back and add more of those in, you go right ahead. That's it, It's your playstyle, it is your setup, you do it how you want. But I feel like a lot of, once you get down past like, you know, 18, 20 buffs, debuffs, whatever you got going on there, um, you'd really just kind of stop keeping track of them because there's so goddamn many. I don't think most people actually pay attention to those. If they have something they really need to look at, they make a weak aura for it. Uh, 
let's see. Very quick uh, run through on Opie here. Nothing really has been modified with that. I have a couple of rings that I've added in recently. Um, a bunch of stupid stuff. Nothing game changing. It's quite literally stupid stuff like things I've added to my toy ring and crap like that. Um, but yeah, we got that whole ring of toys, our travel ring. We can also quick swap our specs here. Um, let's see, we have our utility ring that's got, you know, our collections, utility mounts, uh, professions will all be up in here. And we have a class utility ring, so like for my hunter, that's where all my pet based abilities are. So summoning my pets, um, reviving, heal pet, tame beast, that type of stuff. Um, so one of the biggest complaints I was getting from the old video is a lot of people did not like the placement of the DBM stuff. Um, DBM was completely default, completely unmodified, unlike a lot of other add-ons here that are tailored to fit this UI. So I have gone in and moved around some of the DBM placement. Let's see. You can see kind of where our bars are going to be showing up now. We have our shorter timers are going to be over here underneath our character, almost as if they were on like the personal uh, display. Our longer timers are over here underneath the mini map, out of our way. Run away. And our announcements have been moved as well. If I can find the test Four, here, that three, awesome. two. One. Anyways, uh, the regular announcements will show up Four, right here. Three. Okay, and two, your special announcements, one. like you know, incoming. like this one, will show up towards the top. Again, no longer in the center of your screen; they're out of the way. Um, these should not actually show up in practical use. I think Four, they're just here as part three, of the test two, section. One. Defensive. Well, we're gonna reload to put a stop to that real quick since I don't even remember how I set it off. Now, another really big thing that I have changed here is a lot of people had mentioned they didn't like the sticky targeting uh, from Dynamic Cam. I unfortunately have to agree, it was kind of a problem. I did go a little bit overboard with how magnetic that targeting was. So I did modify that, I dropped it down pretty significantly to a much more playable level um so it does not really suck your cursor in towards a target like it used to anymore it's more so of um once you're on target it helps compensate for you know little twitches of your hand here and there that's all it's really going to do it helps you stay on target a little bit easier but it doesn't do anything game-changing. See if I can show you on this B really quick. So you can see here, I can get a pretty decent way out of here before it actually tries to suck into that target. And it doesn't nearly have as strong of a hold as it did before either. It's much easier to simply just look away from this. It doesn't try to hold you on that target. Now, one of the biggest updates here um, is right after I put out my big video for this, um, the creator of Combat Mode put out a big update for Combat Mode. So he completely revamped the script that controls the cursor, um, I'm sorry, target acquisition. So it works completely different than it did before, and it is so much more accurate, I cannot express this enough. Like, it is a million times more accurate than it was before. Um, you can actually much easier, uh, much more easily pick out what you want target from a crowd. I mean, these bees are not the best example because they're a little spread out, but you see what I'm talking about. As soon as my crosshair goes over that bee, it's targeted. And again, that little bit of sticky targeting I left on there also helps for enemies like these bees that just don't sit still. It just helps you stay on target just that little bit easier.
But I would also like to say, uh, if you had tried using this UI in the past, or if you tried combat mode in the past and didn't like it, with this update, I would highly urge you to give it another try. Um, it is a lot better than it was prior to that update. So, with that being said, I'll show you a little bit of the new variant of the UI in action and let you decide for yourself if you want to use it. So much fury in this soul. It will be... We will bury you here, fools. Run out. You cannot escape! Target you. The hunt is eternal. You cannot escape! Cannot escape. Run out. I'm out of range. Shockwave. 